I'm Kirsten. I'm out here at Woodside Farms with Sean Shepard, the manager here. Um, I wanted to bring you all out here to the farm because it's starting to look really beautiful uh, with May, with all those April showers, brings May produce here to Woodside Farms. Um, so much coming up out of the ground, Sean. Tell us a little bit about what you guys have been working on, what's growing here in the fields, and um, anything else you care to share about the farm. Absolutely, thank you. Um, yeah, you can see behind us, we're standing amongst some of our favorite legumes. We've got sugar snap peas growing on either side of us, being supported by our trellises. Uh, as we get ready for the warm weather, we get through all our cold weather crops. That includes things like salad, arugula, tot soy, mustard greens, spinach, which was one of our staples, baby kale, baby collards, and then you get into all the delicious roots, carrots, radishes, beets, and turnips. Um, as we get into the season, you'll start to see more things like onions, beans, okra, a little bit of summer squash, a little bit of winter squash, and then of course the most important thing, all of our delicious tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, yes. peppers, all the delicious herbs. Uh, one of the unique things we're trying this year that you could find at the market this weekend is a baby fennel. Uh, not everyone loves the big mature fennel, but this baby fennel is a lot milder, still has that delicious licorice flavor, and you won't really find it anywhere else because... Oh, fantastic. We... So fennel sort of looks a little bit like carrot when yeah. it's coming out, right? Absolutely. So is that what some of this is maybe coming around? Let's see. We've got our uh, carrot bed there. The fennel bed is further down this way, kind of poking over there on the onions. So if we'll take a, a little stroll and show everybody what that looks like here in a minute. You get a little snapshot, you see there's a very organized rhythm out here. All of our blocks repeat by season, by week, so everything's repeated, so we always have something fresh coming up. One of the hardest challenges of farming is consistency. There's so many factors fighting against us, whether it's hot, cold, too much rain, too little rain. People don't want to see a, a skip in the availability of our produce, so we're always, every week, we plant the same things over and over again as long as we plant can, and then it switches over to the warm weather stuff. So, so I see that. I see some of the spring greens, um, well, onions, right? That's yep. what's coming up with the green. And then you've got some leaf lettuce that's lower than others, so we've harvested some of that. It's growing back, but then you're skipped to the next bed for the next week's harvest. Exactly, exactly. So you're, it's always very much a, a timing game, and then sometimes you plant a, a bed this week and you think it'll be ready, and it's not, and you just kind of roll with the punches. Speaking of planting, it looks like maybe some of these beds back here are either getting ready to be planted or are newly planted. Do you happen to know what's, what's coming up? Oh, I see a little bit of sprouting yeah, coming up. Yeah, absolutely. You can see smooth dark soil over here and you get a zoom in right over here tiny little baby spinach this is a great little snapshot right through here you get your cover crop your mulch crop that's feeding and mulching for the tomatoes this is a bed that has just been chopped that's going to sit for a week while we wait for it to settle one bed that's sprouting these have probably just been sown so Rinse yeah. and repeat. We just over and over and over again. That's how we keep our fridges stocked. That's how we end up with, you know, for our little acre, hundreds and hundreds of pounds a week. It's pretty good. And our irrigation system all set up here and that's all um, operated as needed. Yep. The rains that we've had, you probably haven't needed it as much in the cooler temperatures, but... We've been lucky. We've been lucky. We're, we're not holding out for any of that, though. <laughs> we still do a lot of hand watering. One of the secrets to getting this good germination by seed is a lot of hand watering. No matter how much uh, drip irrigation you use, that soaking from the hand watering is an essential part of what we do. Um, well, the soils just look so wonderful. D that rich, dark chocolate color is so beautiful, and I know it's gonna produce some really exceptional produce. Um, but we will take a stroll through the farm now. We thank you yeah. for your time. I know it's been a busy day for you, and um, we'll look forward to another update in a couple weeks. Sounds good, thank you. Thanks. So we're over here in the orchard now at Woodside Farms. Uh, just wanted to show you guys that we've got a bunch of fresh strawberries growing on all the beds between. These are Asian pear trees. This one in particular has just hundreds of little pears coming out everywhere, which is so exciting. I just love an Asian pear. Um, we've got some really beautiful bright red strawberries coming out. And um, some blackberries getting ready to uh, vine up and get take over the trellis. 
Um, our figs took a little beating last year, so we're trying to restore those. And our blueberries took a little beating last year, so those are under restoration. But I think we'll have some good um, fruit. The trees have done well, so looks like we'll have a good crop of our pears and apples and um, some other varietals that we've got out here. Hi, we're in here in the market at Woodside Farms. Uh, Sydney, say hello. She's our awesome um, worker bee here and helps with everybody checking out. But I wanted to give everybody a quick tour. There's some great products in here. Um, here's we have our frozen foods. Inside the frozen foods, we've got some frozen fresh pasta from Bombolini, um, some delicious pork from Harmony Hill, Billy Pies some fresh soup from Carl the Caterer, which I personally had last night was delicious. Um, more pork, um, ground pork, ground beef, some delicious lasagna and eggplant parmesan from Bombolini. Here's our cheese cooler. Got delicious hard and soft cheeses from uh, Mountain View Farm Products and uh, Meadow Creek Dairy. Uh, we've recently gotten in the Crescent um, Simple Syrups, which are delicious um, and a, add a nice little spring to any um, mocktail or cocktail. Um, Rainbow Trout, we've got Bloody Marys. Well, you can see lots of wonderful product, delicious breads from Bella Vita, um, delicious jellies from Agraberry and Twisted Carrot, and Apothic Honey, and local honey from Whispering Springs Farms, Apothic, other candles and teas, and bug repellent, soaps. We've got our Woodside Farm swag, delicious chocolates from Miss Mods. Um, and then in here, we've got today, recently just dropped off our weekly meals. So if you order from our weekly meals, they'll be put in the refrigerators here within the market and you can come pick them up on Thursday evenings or Friday during the day. Uh, delicious farm raised eggs every day, all day long. If you've never had a farm egg, you're missing out. Um, please come try those. More Bombolini pastas that are um, fresh, some pot pies, for, uh, twisted carrot and delicious pesto. And then in here we've got what's uh, locally being sourced from our farm. Um, radishes, which add a delicious spice to anything, or roast those radishes, they're delicious. Collards, salad mix, some fresh apples we've brought in, and beets, dill, arugula, baby shard, spinach, all kinds of delicious produce. And just so you know, the produce here lasts. You buy something in the grocery store, it might last a week. Here, it'll last well beyond a week. Um, a lot of times two weeks because it's so fresh and picked uh, and brought right into the refrigerators here and processed so minimally. Um, everything here is just really fresh and delicious and we hope you'll take advantage of it and come visit us. Um, Sydney's always here and she'd be happy to help you. So have a great afternoon. Um, we hope you've enjoyed your little tour of the farm and uh, the market here at Woodside Farms, which is a um, part of the agri-community of Chickahominy Falls. Have a great afternoon.